Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed down to the Caribbean uh, to make the Bake and Shark Sandwich, which is served in Trinidad, Tobago, Tobago, uh, and Jamaica. We're going to do a recipe that seems to be uh, skewed towards Trinidad, but here's the deal. I'm not going to be using shark because shark right now is endangered and if I were to find any shark in the grocery stores, it might not be sustainably harvested. So I'm going to go with swordfish as a substitute. Maybe the Caribbean is rife with sharks, I don't know, but around here, we're going to go swordfish. Now this recipe is called a bacon shark, but there's no baking involved. We do have to make a bread, but it's a fry bread. But before we get into any of that, we need to make three sauces. Now these are the three sauces that he lists on his website. A tamarind sauce, a Jamaican pepper sauce, and then something he calls a mm-hmm sauce. Sounds good to me. Let's try it. All right, for the marinade for our shark, we put in black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, dried thyme, and mix together. All right, to our swordfish, we add lime juice. And I know what you're thinking, won't that cook it? I have the same concern, but we're gonna find out. Our mix of seasonings, some chopped chives, and chopped culantro, which is a more intense cilantro. So if you really don't like cilantro, you're gonna hate culantro, but man, it smells amazing. Then salt, it up, give it a good coating. Press out there and let that sit in the fridge overnight. All right, to make our tamarind sauce, we add uh, two cups of water and a quarter cup of tamarind, seedless tamarind paste to a pot and bring it to a simmer. All right, now that it's at a simmer, we add sugar and a Trinidadian masala powder. Yes, I made that myself. Now we're to cook that down to a thick paste. All right, so to a food processor or blender, we add in scotch bonnets. I'm using habaneros because I couldn't find scotch bonnets, but I think they'll do the trick. Three Anaheim chilies, one peeled and smashed head of garlic, chopped culantro leaves, apple cider vinegar, lime juice, whole grain mustard, salt, and grated ginger. Then we was it on up. Now we're gonna make the mm-hmm sauce. Now, I don't know how traditional this is, but we're gonna make it anyway. It's got mayonnaise, mustard, paprika, garlic powder, dried thyme, black pepper, and sugar. And just get it all mixed together. To make our bake, we have in here flour, salt, a little bit of sugar, baking powder, and yeast. We get that combined. Now we add in water. All right, now we're to knead it for three to four minutes or until it comes to a smooth ball. Now we cover that and let it sit for about 20 minutes. All right, now we cut it in half, roll them into balls, then roll them out to be about four inches in diameter. All right, for the coating for the uh, swordfish, we have flour, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. We just get that all mixed together. Now we uh, coat our swordfish. Now we heat up our oil. And yeah, I'm frying outside because uh, frying fish inside makes the whole place smell like fish for a week. And yeah, I'm being safe. All right, first thing we do is fry up the bread. Now onto a wire rack to drain. And now we fry our fish. And we put our swordfish on the rack to drain. We cut our fry bread in half. Put down a leaf of lettuce, some of our swordfish. Spread the mm-hmm sauce on this side of the bun. And our tamarind sauce just a little bit here on the fish. And last but not least, our pepper sauce. Okay, let's give this shark and bake sandwich made with swordfish a go. Wow, there's so much flavor in this. This is insane from the sweet, tangy tamarind chutney to that mm-hmm sauce that has a little bit of thyme and sweetness and that really spicy pepper sauce. And then of course the fish actually did absorb marinade. So it's just all these herbs, all these spices. Ugh. Yeah, no need to plus this up whatsoever. I love all the intense flavors of the spices, the peppers, the swordfish. It's just, it is a delicious sandwich. It's a lot of work if you're gonna follow this recipe, but man, it is tasty. Might be easier if you just uh, book a Caribbean vacation though. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I'll make this again because it was so elaborate, but I will definitely eat this again any day. All right, see you tomorrow.